hello guys welcome again to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a contact form page with file upload for free so as you may have found out there are a lot of contact form plugins that require you to upgrade to pro versions to be able to do this but i'm going to show you how to do this for free so let's just go straight into this so we're just going to search for form so what we'll be using here is forminator so i'm just going to click on install now so once you click on install now you want to click on activate so once you do that you want to scroll down on the sidebar here to your uh, to your formulator um, sub menu here so what we want to do is we we'll click on forms um we'll click on create here so let's just create um something blank or to make this faster we can just create click on something like contact us yeah so let's click continue would we'll give this a name so I can name it file and upload form here yeah. So as you can see, this is the customizer for the form. So because I chose contact form, I already have these default fields here. So I don't have to bore you with adding all those. So here, um, I'm just going to click on insert fields. I can click here and I can click below here. So I'm just going to click on insert fields. So I'm going to choose file upload here. So once I do that, I'm going to click on insert fields again so for this you have to type single and multiple if you want people to be able to upload multiple files um you can click multiple here and but if you want people to just upload one file you click on um single here so the label name so we can just leave it as upload file or as you want to customize it you can name it upload your file or whatever you want to customize it as so in the settings here, um, you're going to um, choose whether you want the um, con whether you want the file upload to be optional or you want it to be compulsory. So depending on the kind of website, the camp, depending on the kind of form you want to create, you might need to um, make this as required. So if it is required. Um, so you might want to put in your error message here, like um, please upload file, you understand, or whatever you want it as, but I'm just going to click this as optional here. So file types here, you can leave it as default. If you leave it as default, you want WordPress to filter out the types of files that you can, um, that can be uploaded. If you want um, a specific type of file to be uploaded, you can create, um, click on specific file type here then you can go through all this here then um, what you want to do is so let's say what i want people to upload on the contact form is documents you understand so i can just um untick all this so since i don't need them i can just untick all this so i don't i don't need this i don't need all this so what i can then do is i can then choose the type of document I want here, you understand? You can just play around with this and it's basically your preference really. So um, what you want to do is you can set file limits. So you can choose between megabytes, kilobytes and bytes, you understand? So I like to use 10 MB, it's really convenient for everyone. So, but you can also increase this depending on what you want to use the form for. So let's say, let's leave this as 100 MB. So show files in media library. Um, if you click this option, whatever the person uploaded, it would be uploaded directly into your media library. But if you just want it to go into your email, you leave this as disabled, you understand? So let's just leave this as disabled here. Yeah. So you can also add a bit of styling if you want. So if you want to customize this form further, further you can add um, additional CSS classes like, uh, let's say, um, file upload so that um, the CSS class is unique. You, just want, you want to make sure it's unique so that it's not 
it doesn't conflict with um, any other CSS on your website. So for the visibility, um, you want to just leave this as it is. You don't want to actually do too much there. So I'm going to click on apply. So once you click on apply, you can click publish here. So let's wait while this get published. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this short code because that is what I'll be using to create the form. So, but briefly, um, let's touch down on email notifications here. This is the email that the um, file upload gets sent to, you understand? So you can leave this as it is, or you can add a new email, or you can actually edit this particular one here, you understand? So this is, you have, in, um, you have the label, which is the admin email, you have the subject, new form entry, um, submission ID, form name, which is the file, um, upload this thing. So this new form entry, you can just change this to something like new upload, you understand, just to make it unique. You know where the email is coming from. So here yeah, you, you can leave, you can leave this, you don't have to do that. So um, what you don't want to do is you scroll down to recipients here. I'm going to leave it as it is like this. So what you want to do is you click on advanced. So for the advanced, you want to be able to respond to the person that um, uploaded the file. So you click on reply to email here, then you click on email address. So you can leave this as is. You don't have to change anything here. You don't have to do anything. So what you want to do then is come to conditions. This is all good. So you can click on add. So once we do that, we're just going to update this, then we can go and um, create the contact form. So um, I already have a tab open here, so I'm just going to click on add new page. We can just name this um, tests for upload. You understand? Then I'm just going to paste the um, short code here. You might be using block editor or you might need to use Elementor or whatever page builder that you're using to include the short code here. So but since this is a since this is a tutorial, I'm just going to include it here as default. So let's just click on um, publish here. Yeah, so let's see what we have here. So as you can see, this is the form. So you can see it here, upload your file, choose file, file choosing. So we know it's here, so let's just test if it works. And um, for the file name, I'm just going to choose Ryan. So for the email, I'm going to going to choose this. So for the phone number, I'm just going to put something very random. Um, so um, the message you can, if it's not required, you can leave it as is. So let's just say um, this is my um, at work submission. You understand? So let's actually now choose a file. Let's upload something. So let's say something like this, South Africa benefit for bricks, for example. Sorry. <laughs> so this is my uh, document submission. So um, we choose send message here. So as you can see, it is submitting. So when that is done, we're going to check if it actually came into the email and how it shows up in your email. You understand? So this is how it shows up in your email. Um, as you can see, new upload entry for file upload form. So you have a new website submission. Um, these are the email tags here. So the first name, 
the email, phone number, message, and this is the document as you can see here. The document actually came true. So um, this is how you do this for free, really. I don't really understand why most plugins make this a paid feature, as it seems like something basic that anyone can need. And um, well, anyways, this is how you create a contact form with uh, with file upload for free using Formulator. Um, you can also use contact form seven if that is what your um really familiar with um, and if that is what you have on your website so that you you don't have to be using different forms for different purposes on your website but if your website is new you can actually use for minute it's actually a really good plugin to use you can use for all your other contact forms on your website so um i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you're able to replicate this so um please don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you